Good point. Good point. I yeah, think this is. I think it is. I think it's a, a incredibly lucid point. Okay. I'm yeah. having a. You yeah, know, vision. I think you are. Well, what do you make of this? Well, I feel bad for those four people that wanted to march in both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> I'm just like, but wait, okay, just give me one parade. I don't yeah. care which the Muslim parade, the gay parade. Uh, uh, either way, they're they're disliked by someone. And the, on the, other uh, side. the village people reunion tour with the extra Muslim character now. You know, uh, they canceled the uh, tour in uh, Islamabad. Yeah, I was it's gonna say done. if the village yeah. people had a thing now, yeah. I think there would probably be a Muslim. That would sure. be a step yeah. forward. I think yes. the village people should come back with a yes. Muslim yeah. with a Muslim member. Uh, Speaking of Muslim members, the Bill. The YMMA. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, Phil, uh, aren't most parades just an excuse to get wasted? Isn't that really what it is? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I remember Howard Stern wanted to run for governor here about 10 years ago, and his main campaign was to outlaw all parades. That's the only way you can do it. You can't have the St. Patrick's Day and not have the, you know, Samoan Pride Day as well, which is my favorite parade. Yeah. So you get rid of all of them and everyone's happier. And I feel it maintains it hurts our economy more than it helps it. Yeah. Look at the vomit. I, 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 the I, candy. Who cleans up the vomit? Who cleans yeah. up the candy? Thank you. <laughs> exactly. I never see any candy in parades. Oh, I, well, that's because we'll get there. Before you, I'm thinking of the 4-H parade. Yeah. I'm no, sorry. I, I, hate, I don't like large groups of people. I don't care what denomination or orientation they are. I just hate large groups of people. Sure. I hate singing and dancing. So you put that wow. together, it is, and then the, then the so worst thing So you are Muslim. Yes, I am. Yeah, so you're a secret I'm Muslim, more so Muslim. than the president. I, yeah. But no, the thing is, Ed, the worst thing is the blocking of the traffic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is right. wrong. Yeah. Well, and I love singing and dancing, but I cannot abide by lip syncing and dancing. Yeah. That is what all these friends are about. Exactly. The sound system is never good enough. Exactly. I hate that. All right. So last week I told you how much I enjoy hiding assorted cookies all over my body. Nice. I do. Thank you. But I also love charity. <laughs> Gonna make me blush. So let's get to the bidding of my latest piece of art. I call this Lesbian Unicorns in Love. You've seen it the whole past week. It's beautiful. Right now the highest bid is a three-way tie at $600 each. One guy offered 600 bucks, contingent that it be autographed by Essie Cup, which is an insult to me since I drew the picture. <laughs> Another guy named Steven offered 600 bucks if it's autographed by both Essie and Imogen Lloyd Webber, which is, again, a double insult on me since I am the actual artist. Another person, Warren Bailey, however, simply bid for the work alone for $600. So he's the guy to beat good work Bailey. So if you want to win this piece of art, Email your bid to RedEyeFoxNews.com to be considered. The bids close by Thursday, and as you know, all the money goes to the Wounded Warriors Project. And remember, let's not forget the real message here. It's not about charity. It's about me being awesome. Yeah. All right. So are cats and dogs just little hairy people who can't talk? Nick Gillespie discusses this in his new book, Cats and Dogs Are Just Little Hairy People Who Can't Talk. Great book, by the way. Thank you. But first, a porn star who hangs out with Charlie Sheen is in serious trouble. Wow, none of us saw this coming. Even my friend Sal, who can see real good. Yes, two. All right, so the worldwide boss of Burger King was forced to apologize after he told students in Chicago mean, terrible things about England. Bernardo Hees was hearkening back to his youth when he was studying at the University of Warwick and said it was easier to study there because, quote, the food is terrible and the women are not very attractive, end quote. He then complimented Chicago on having both hot women in great food, meaning he was hoping to get lucky. Anybody. Now he's just pissed off some Brits, including a, quote, women's campaign officer, which being a women's campaign's <laughs> officer, it can't be hard to do. She probably has seven cats, mm. like Andy. But he was also condemned by Marcus Waring, considered a Engl an English food pioneer, which <laughs> smacks of the Donner Party. Quote, it's an insult to British gastronomy, said Waring, and he may be right, but after living in London for three years, I could say British gastronomy was an insult to my stomach. Fact is, the basic British foods, fattening breakfast, Sunday roasts, and squirrels are awesome. But when they try to get fancy, British food sucks. Have you ever eaten a gourmet steak in England? It's like sucking face with Joan Rivers with a side of Kathy Griffin. Anyway, the guy's right about the food, but he's wrong about the women. English women are saucy, as anyone who saw Chitty Chitty Bang Bang 34 times can attest. <laughs> but see, he's is Brazilian, so you gotta cut up some slack. To him, by comparison, everyone is hideous. And if you've been to Brazil, you know he's right. And if you disagree with me, you've never seen Adriana Lima. Well, 
wasn't he just trying to kiss the Chicago audience's butt by making fun of other people? Listen, wasn't that really what he was trying to do? As, as Bill and I, Bill, a fellow Illinoisan, can yes. attest, the women are beautiful in the state of Illinois. Yes, and, and corn-fed, yeah. wonderful. And yeah. it is, it is too much. I'm really just amazed he didn't make a teeth joke. Yeah, like, it really yeah. is kind of stunning that he didn't do that. Like it must have killed him not to do it. Yeah, that's that's, that's absolutely. <laughs> I have made a teeth joke. Maybe it's hard 17 not to. Or 18 times. It's the first thing that comes to your brain. I know. So. Nick, uh, you know, he is the head of Burger King. So doesn't yeah. he have a right to judge British food? Well, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting to uh, you know see what Obama has to say about this. I understand that he's got a task force and he's going to be having a press conference tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> I'm always glad when a Brazilian is in the news and and it's not an escaped Nazi war criminal. So. <laughs> <laughs> and and I also Speak for yourself. Yeah, I do think <laughs> Brazilians I mean, are lovely. Bernardo, people. he's wasn't uh, you know he's the most famous Brazilian since Martin Borman. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. So. You don't like Brazilians, do you? Um, I won't ask you if you like Brazilians. Brazilians, Diana, because that means something completely different. Yeah. Um, has the internet made it impossible, really, for anybody to be boorish now? It's like if you say something on TV, you get in trouble, but the guy somewhere in Chicago and the people in England are mad at him. Right, exactly. Well, he's a ladies' man, and I want to get his number immediately. I mean, he should be careful what he's saying. He is a, a high ranking. Uh, Official Burger, at, Burger at Burger King, King. you he's know where an he's. Official I mean, honestly, of the Burger he's, King. he's <laughs> shoveling lard to people, and he has the right to call someone fat. It's like ah. Oh. I love Burger King. How dare you, Bill? Who doesn't? Um, Brazil. You, we work in this country. <laughs> Adriana Lima, Alexandro, Alexandra Ambrosio, Giselle Bunchen, Fabiana Semi Proven, Yasmin Brunet, Fernando Lessa, Fernando Mata, and Fernando. Tavares. That little parrot in the new animated Rio film yes. that looks delightful. <laughs> the female one, of course. Yes. Yes. No yes. weird guys. No. No. Um, I mean, you come from Brazil, everybody on the planet seems ugly. I will defend British women. I think British women are yeah. super hot. Unfortunately, they all live in New York. And either American <laughs> yeah. food or English food, they're not eating any of it. Yeah. They have smoke. Getting back to an earlier story. I think British women are beautiful, but I have to say... Susan Boyle? Susan Boyle is yes. yeah. in, inside. Her soul is and, you know, beautiful. I'd like to pop that too. Boyle. They wear glasses like nobody else on the planet. <laughs> yes, they do. Yes. <laughs> they do. They invented the sexy librarian look. I think so. Fact yeah. is, no matter what you say, someone's going to be outraged. Yeah. yeah. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. And Kate Moss is going to be high. Yeah. But still <laughs> looking <laughs> hot. But skinny. She still is, high. She really is yeah, the, she she is the best looking, middle-aged, high model I've ever seen. It is a testament to cocaine and she, 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 did, she just did a. Uh, He's another one. She just yeah. did a fashion a runway show, and she walked down the runway smoking, and it was the most amazing, beautiful. hottest thing I've ever seen. All right, do you but have she had to pay higher insurance. That is true. Yes. That is true. Yeah, yeah. All right, do you have a comment on the show, like how awesome Brazil is? Okay, email us. It's redeyefoxnews.com, and leave a voicemail on my direct line two one two four six two five zero five zero. Still to come, the halftime. A jerk. No. Tonight's halftime report is sponsored by Mutton Bustin'. That rodeo event similar to bull riding, except where children ride sheep, and the real winner is the viewers at home. Thanks, Mutton Bustin'.